I'm Layla. So today we have a fun speed run comp for you guys for Fire Knight 25 that doesn't have a lure. I know that's kind of a big one because a lot of times people find it very challenging to be able to run Fire Knight 25 level and have speed runs without her. But today we have a comp courtesy of Bronze. And who we actually have in here too is Hull's Ring of all champs, right? Hull's Ring. Because he's such an interesting champ. When he first came out, I initially thought he would be good in Fire Knight, but you really don't see that he gets a lot of play. But I am gonna show you this comp, and like I said, there is no allure. And the comp is gonna be Lydia, Hull's Ring, Seer, Cold Heart, and Renegade. So let me show you guys their gear and their speeds. And we'll start with Renegade. You are gonna see that she's in a shield set, and she also has some mismatching pieces. For her stats, she's at 33,000 HP, 2,600 attack, 1,100 defense. She's at 202 speed. She has crit caps. She has 120% crit damage, and her accuracy is at 268. Let me see. She is fully booked. She does have a blessing on her, too. She does have phantom touch, which does inflict bonus damage. And for her masteries, you are going to see she's an offense and support. What you don't see behind me is she has methodical with her T6 being war master. Now, the other thing I want to point out, too, is you're going to see she's only at 40. So a lot of times you can run these comps with renegades at like 30 or 40. You don't even really need them to be totally maxed. Actually, no, she's a six, right? Yeah, so she's not even, Renegade's for, like, she's not even bumped up all the way to 60, which she could be if we really, really wanted to. So she's not even, like, maxed up. There's more we could do, too. Yeah, and there are some comps where you do want her to die sometimes as well. Next up is Cold Heart because she's right next door. So we do have a Perception set, an Accuracy set, and then we do have some mixed pieces. 36,000 HP, 2,700 on the attack, 1,400 on the defense. Speed is 241. She's not crit capped, but that's okay. We have 238% on the crit damage, and you're going to see her accuracy is at 381. She is fully booked, and she also has a Phantom Touch. I know people are asking what her blessing is. The same thing, inflicts bonus damage. And then Masteries, we do have Offense and Support. Again, so behind me, she has kill streak with her T6 being a giant slayer. Hi, Hillary. Next up, we have Miss Seer. So Miss Seer, she's in a savage and a crit damage set, as you see. Her HP, she's at 52,000 HP, 2,600 attack, 1,800 on the defense. Her speed's at 203. She is crit capped. With 308% crit damage, 164 on the resist, and 259 on the accuracy. She is booked, and her blessing is she has crushing rend. Ignores a percentage of the target's defense, which is amazing for her with her A3. And her masteries. She has offense and support. Behind me, you're gonna see she has kill streak, blood shield, and her T6 is flawless execution for the crit damage. Hi, Dan. Yeah, she has 300% crit damage, you guys. 300. All right, Hull's Ring. Kind of the wild card in here because, like I said, a lot of times you don't really see Hull's Ring really in anything, right? So he's in speed and perception. 27,000 HP, 4,300 on the attack. Defense is 1,900. 277 on the speed. Crit caps. 254% crit damage, 262 accuracy. I also want to point out quickly too, is he does have a refresh amulet, which is a chance to prevent a skill cooldown. He is booked. Now what's also important too, is I know Braun had mentioned this before, is it's important that his A3 gets booked. Okay, it's important that his A3 gets booked. And masteries, we do have support and offense with methodical, kill streak, and giant slayer. And last but definitely not least is we have Miss Lydia. Now, Lydia, she's in a speed set and she's actually an untouchable as well, too, which makes her immune. And she does also have the extra resist from the untouchable set. HP, she has almost 62,000. She has 1,800 attack, 2,600 on defense, 255 on the speed. And then the big thing here, too, is she has 239 resist with 440 on the accuracy. 
I want to say she is fully booked. Oh, she's not fully booked. So her passive isn't booked, which is okay. Other than that, she is booked. And then masteries. She's down the uh, yeah, she's down the offense and the support. So behind me, we have methodical, and then we also have war master. So these, this is going to be a speed run kind of team. Again, we do not have a lore in here going to be speed runs. So we're going to run Fire Knight 25. Also, I have two more comps to show you when we get over there that do not have a lore and one comp that doesn't have a lore or seer. So let's get over to Fire Knight 25. Okay, I think that'll work. Do we need to... We probably don't really need to show off the other ones. I guess if people... If in the comments people really, really want to see the other ones, we could probably do the showcase at another time and specifically highlight them. But I'm thinking like the allureless one is pretty good for being a speed run too. So I think that was pretty good, right? And I already thanked Bronson that too. Okay. Bron, thank you so much. All right, guys, here we are. So we are in Fire Knight Stage 25 with our speed team. So we do have Seer in the lead for Ally Resist in all battles by 40. We do have Lydia, Holes Ring, Coldheart, and Renegade. And let's check out their presets. Because again, presets are important, especially when we're coming up against the Fire Knight. So round one for Seer, we have her clan banner, which is increased crit rate weekend, is going to be shut off. Lydia, she's left alone. Basically, Holes Ring, we only have him doing his A1, which is two times an increased attack. Renegade, we have everything shut off again, except for her A1, which is the heal reduction. And Cold Heart, we just leave her alone as is. On round two, Seer, we have her starting with her increased crit rate and weaken, but then we shut it right off. Lydia, we're gonna shut off her nullification, which is the poison sensitivity and block buffs. Holes Ring again, we have him basically only just doing his A1. Renegade, this time we have her starting with her skill resets, right? But as soon as we have her do, we have it shut off because we want it available for round three. And then Cold Heart, we are shutting off her Heart Seeker because again, we want to be able to use that on the boss when we get to him, which is going to be round three. So round three, again, Seer is untouched. Lydia, we have her starting with her nullification, which is poison sensitivity block buffs, but also because she hits twice, right? Because again, we got to get the shield down. Holes ring, in this case, we're going to start with his overthrow because it is going to be a three hitter and ignores defense and targets under a hex. And then after the overthrow, we are going to have him go to witch finder, which hits four times. Renegade, we have her starting with her lash out, which again hits three times, decreases speed, decreases accuracy, because again, we're working on getting the shield down. And then for Cold Heart, we're going to shut off her Art of Pain on the boss. All right. Now, this is going to be auto. And this is speed runs. This should be fast. This should be about like a minute-ish, I believe. So we'll see how fast they could run it. We're through the first wave in five seconds. First wave. Wave two. So again, important to point out, guys, that we do not have an allure on this team. Bront doesn't have an allure, which is why he wanted to try to build a speed team. So we got to the Fire Knight in 17 seconds. So now we got to get that shield down. Since he doesn't have an allure, he wanted to work on building some speed teams since he was told he couldn't do it without her. And there we go. So again, Fire Knight 25, not impossible. A little past 30 seconds. So he gets an extra turn. All right, 50 seconds. And again, we are doing a good job keeping that turn meter down without having an allure in here too. And still doing a good amount of damage. All right, so it's just gonna be a little bit over a minute. What do we got? Like a minute and 12. There we go, a minute and 12. And yeah, so Twitch chat's commenting on how hard Holes Ring can hit. So we are going to see, I mean, obviously Seer did the most amount of damage here. She did 3.6 mil. But look at Holes Ring. Like, that's nothing to sneeze at. Like, he's on par with Cold Heart at that 900. Like, almost the mil. So he's basically on par with her. So again, best time with this comp was a minute and five. Because again, guys, there's always going to be that element of RNG. 
a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a difference, a little bit of a change. There's always the element of RNG. So we did do a minute and 12 on this, but nice and fast. And again, no allure. They still managed to keep the turn meter down even with outer. All right, now that we did the speed runs, he does have a couple other comps that again, do not include allure. These runs are, you know, they take a little bit longer, but they do clear in about two and a half to four minutes. So this is one comp here, which is Vizix, Coldheart, Sill, Seer, and Lydia. Now for this on the presets, Vizix we have her starting with her Sinister Allies, which is an AOE decrease speed and ally protect. Coldheart is untouched. Still, we have her AOE stun is what we're starting off with. Lydia's untouched. In Seer, we shut off Clan Banner, but we have her doing her Karma Burn on the first round. Round two, we don't touch Vizix. We shut off Coldheart's Heartseeker because we want it for the boss, remember? Again, we have Sil coming in with an AOE stun on the wave. Lydia's untouched. In Seer, we want her doing her Karma Burn. On the boss, for Vizix, we shut off everything except her... A1, which hits twice, has a chance of decreasing the turn meter and fills the turn meter. Coldar, we're gonna shut off her A2, which is the Art of Pain. Sylv the Drakes, we have her starting with her stun. Because again, it's a two hitter, right? And we wanna try to knock the shield down. Lydia, we have her starting with Oppression, which has, you know, fear, poison sensitivities. And then Seer, we're gonna shut off her clan banner, but we have her starting with Knockout, which gives her a chance at an extra turn. And this will also be on auto. Now again, this is not a speed team, but this is a team that will clear without an allure again and still manage to keep the turn meter down. All right, there's another team. So I'd love to know, leave me some comments on what kind of teams are you running for 25? If you guys are running Fire Night 25, if you're there. What kind of teams are you running? So we're about 30 seconds in and we are, you know, we're hanging on wave two, which is okay. Again, like I said, this isn't going to be a speed run. There we go. So we get to the boss in 38 seconds. We got to knock the shield down. All right. So now again, what's important is that we manage to keep the turn meter down, which is what we're watching. All right, good job, Vizix, reducing the turn meter. All right, boss gets a swing. Yes, now what's important here too is Braun is pointing out having Sill in here becomes critical because as you saw, we took a swing and both Seer and Coldheart dropped, but we were able to get Seer back up. And you know, let's be real, like Sill, she's pretty beefy. She's pretty tanky, right? Because she is a defense-based champ, so it could be tough to take her out. And as long as she's up, she can do the revives and she keeps tossing her heels out. There we go. Got Cold Heart back up. So we gotta drop the shields. Good job. And I gotta manage to keep the turn meter down. There we go. Good job with the Heart Seeker. All right, so we're a little past two minutes. So guys, again, remember this is not gonna be a speed run, but it'll clear. There we go. Drop and turn meter. Applying debuffs. All right, so we're at about 2.30. And there we go. So 2.35. Now, should be no surprise that the, you know, the MVP here who's doing the most damage is Seer. She's going to continuously kind of be the one doing the most amount of damage in these, right? She's at 3.4 mil, and then we have Coldheart at 1.2. So you can see that it, you know, we can keep the shield down, but again, it is always kind of RNG based and Braun does have Sill and Relentless and that's how I've built mine as well too. So there is going to be an element of RNG too, as far as like tossing the heels out and what's going on with the Fire Knight shield. 
And then the last team we got, because again, we have three teams without an allure. So this team actually does not have a seer because there are some people that don't have allure and don't have seer. So this cop is Vizix, Sil, Coldheart, Lydia, and Yannicka, actually. So don't forget, Yannicka is a free champ in the clan shop if you guys have not gotten her yet. Now for presets, Vizix, she's untouched. Sil's untouched. We're all on round one. No presets at all on round one. Round two, we basically just shut off Cold Heart's Heart Seeker because we won on the boss. And we are going to shut off Lydia's Nullification, which is Poison Sensitivity. And then round three on the boss, we basically only want Vizix doing her two hits again and decreasing the turn meter. We want Syl starting with her two hits. And that's it. Just one time to take the shield down. Cold Heart, we're going to shut off the Art of Pain because, again, we want her trying to use Heart Seeker as much as possible. Lydia, we're having her start with her nullification, which is poison sensitivity and block buffs. And then Yannicka, she's untouched. So this team is going to be no allure and no seer. Now, again, these are not going to be, these aren't speed runs, you guys, but these are runs for people that have not been able to pull allure and seer. Because again, a lot of what you hear is about how it's almost impossible to be able to clear 25 without those champs. And so that's why we have some of these comps that actually do it without them. Yes, winning is winning. That's right. As long as we clear it, right? And it is a fun seeing Yannick on something too. Okay, so I mean, it almost took us about a minute to get through wave one. Hi, Duck. Actually, I was in Cali this past weekend for TwitchCon. Dude, I was in San Diego. All right, so it took us about a minute to clear the first wave. Hey, Neil, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Thank you. Hope you're having a great day and I appreciate it. All right, so let's see how long it takes us to get through wave two. No, I didn't see Lopi, but you know who found me? Collins. Collins found me. So a lot of you guys know, I just gonna be on YouTube too, but for those of you guys that don't know, when I first came to Twitch, I started with Hearthstone and Blizzard games and made a lot of friends with Hearthstone Blizzard streamers. And, you know, since then, you know, obviously, like, I've been doing raid now. And there's some of them that still keep in contact with me. And Educated Collins was one of my friends back from the Hearthstone days. Yeah, he, he messaged me. And he's like, Layla, I gotta come find you. And so I told him, because, again, Raid sent me out there, so I told him when I was working and streaming. And he did. He came by. We hung out right before my stream. We got some pictures. Hopefully, I hooked him up with a sponsorship from Raid. Raid, hook up my buddy with a sponsorship. Come on. And so if we do that, he and I will probably collab Raid, too. I think that would be a lot of fun. Raid is such, like, you guys know that. It's such a chill game to play with viewers that I'm down for collabs and things like that with my friends that get sponsors for the game, too. So hopefully, you know, because like I said, he's he's always been a great guy. Yeah, he's so chill. We've been friends for years. So that was nice being able to actually meet people. Yeah, he's awesome. It was so nice seeing meeting him in person, too. Because we've talked in DM so much. It's always nice being able to see people face to face. And we've been friends for years, like back to the Hearthstone days, right? All right, so here we are. We're at about three minutes. And again, like you guys are going to see, they had no trouble keeping the turn meter down, keeping the shield down. And there we go. So this, no allure, no seer. And look at that Yannicka with the most amount of damage. 1.8 on Yannicka and then 1.6 on Coldheart. 1.8 on Yannicka, 1.6 on Coldheart. So those are the teams, guys. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know what comps you are running in Fire Knight 25 if you can. If you have Seer, if you have Allure, at least now you know that there are some comps you can run 
that if you don't have them, that's still clear. And thank you so much, Bront, for the showcase. Hey, check out some more videos up here in the playlist in the top right.